Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Esther, and I'm the chair of the Glasgow 2024 WorldCon. Uh, before John starts like going through all of the slides, which he's going through a lot faster than I thought, because sure. you know he just like you know fell on yeah, one. Um, I thought it'd be really cool if I showed you something. So I'm going to stand up for a moment. Don't worry, it's it. There's only going to be minimal nudity. Why are you all standing up? What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> okay, so. It's very important to be very invested in your world card. And I realized that most of you probably haven't seen this. So I thought I'd just show you something, which is my arm. No more, no more taking my clothes off, I promise. Okay. Okay, so for online people, uh, I have a tattoo of the logo designed by Sarah Felix on my arm because some things are important in life. <laughs> you can go click if you want. Oh, that'd be amazing. Okay, so our venue remains, the SEC Glasgow. We've hosted Worldcon here twice before. From the 8th to the 12th of August, 2024. And there it is looking completely beautiful, um, including the River Clyde. I'll be talking about the River Clyde a bit more later because uh, it's an important location for our Worldcon. So importantly, right now, this is the this is kind of the convention area. We're gonna be using all of Hall 4. You can see that in the middle, it says SEC Center Hall 4. On the right-hand side to that, you can see Hall 5. That's gonna be a lockable area where we're gonna have our art show and our dealers. And then we have everything else the sun touches apart from the round thing. That's a massive venue. So if anybody wants to like sponsor Beyonce at our convention, she'll be in there. Otherwise, we're not using that. Then we have the SEC Armadillo. That's our 3,400 pe people auditorium, um, which has recently, again, upgraded its um, hearing loops and has a whole load of accessible stuff in it for people who have trouble hearing. And we will also be using the hotel area that you see on the left-hand side there, um, which is formerly the Moat House, now the Crown Plaza. And uh, our programming will both be in both of those areas. So the big sort of central area and the hotel itself, which is kind of stacked. Now, I know most of you are very interested about where we're going to host the business meeting. Sure, says somebody unenthusiastically. So we've had a we've had a long term plan for the business meeting. I mentioned the Clyde earlier. So. <laughs> We're gonna get Thanks. we're gonna get a whole load of those um those kind of uh big metal round things you know that you use uh with those drums right barrels. barrels thank you they're gonna be empty uh because you're gonna have to work on this themselves it's important to be inventive you're gonna lash them together stick a big raft on it I'm gonna have a big cannon we've we've actually got the budget for the cannon and I am gonna fire people from the cannon onto the raft and that's the business meeting. <laughs> Good job, everyone. There is, there is one small problem and uh, I will repeat what my team are about to say, but what is the problem? No trash in the Clyde. No <laughs> trash in the Clyde. So if you ever see me use the hashtag NTITC, some of you have read your questionnaire, so you may notice it is in the questionnaire. Um, no trash in the Clyde. So we're not actually allowed to throw trash in the Clyde. I know some of you can be, or obviously not only you, but you know, people can be in incredibly toxic. Um, so we need to be a little bit careful about that. More seriously, we will be hosting the business meeting in a hotel that's on the other side of this campus that's not actually shown. It's about 300 meters away. It's all flat access. Um, there is a set of lights, traffic lights that you have to cross, but again, flat pavements going across. And that area is called the village. So, and that is a that is a hotel. So, if you are very much into the business meeting, when we open hotels, the village is the place to be. So, uh, which direction is that? It is to uh, the question was which direction it is. It is to the the south of the map that you're looking at. A, a reminder that so, people are not asking questions from the yeah. audience. If you have a question, okay. write it down. So. You can actually now see this as a round circle on the map. So we've got, we've contracted with eight hotels on site, 21 hotels in total. So 21 hotels across uh, Glasgow. I nearly said Scotland there, but Glasgow. Um, we've got 2000 rooms reserved and the hotels that we have on site, again, some of you will know these, some of you, you won't. We've put the chains in just so that you know. There's the Campanile, that's a sort of mid-range budget hotel. We've got two Marriott's on site now. They're both completely brand new. The courtyard has got very soft beds. Uh, the Crown Plaza, which was formerly the Moat House, which is the central convention hotel. 
um, which will have the fan. No, it won't have the fan bar. That's changed. Um, the Hilton Garden Inn, the Moxie, which is uh, a kind of budget Marriott, um, also very nice. Uh, it's got uh, it's got these weird underbed seating lights. So when you get into bed, the light lights up so you can see your feet when you're going to the toilet. And then it turns off after about 60 seconds. That's weird, but fun. The Premier Inn, which is a budget hotel. The Radisson Red, which is a top end hotel, which has beautiful bathrooms. Um, and the, the aforementioned village, which I named before. One of the great things about the village is that we're also hoping to have our queer space over there. Um, and they've actually themed it after copyright protected the village people so there's a whole load of like real real kind of cool photos in there and, and that's very awesome okay so hotel bookings so if you ticked when you bought your membership because you all, all bought your memberships right yes. oh, yeah. brilliant uh again for those who are online many people said yes but some people didn't <laughs> okay. so accessibility bookings are still opening open um, this looks like a typo, but actually isn't. If you think you are eligible for an accessibility room or you have any kind of accessibility need, go back and check your registration and see if you tick to the box that said yes. We've seen quite a lot of people on Facebook over the last couple of days saying, why haven't I been contacted about a room? And then we've said, do you have a membership? And they've said, no. Magically, we should have contacted them. You can also email registration at Glasgow 2024. That's a, again, that is actually a typo. It should it should be an at there, but come and ask me and I'll give you the email. Um, and those bookings are now open. We're expecting the rest of hotel bookings to open at the end of January. Okay, so again, if you are a staff member, you will get to book slightly beforehand, but end of January for everybody else. And that will be through our partner, the Glasgow Convention Bureau. As I said, we've got 21 hotels. They range from £120 to £322, with the average being about 150 okay? That includes breakfast, so you can eat all the haggis that you want, okay? <laughs> uh, the haggis is a protected species. We won't be having a drone display because the haggis are migrating, okay? <laughs> so... Uh, we will have flexible bookings. So again, you can book now and then you can pay at the hotel. That's a pretty standard, but again, do check when you're making your booking. Um, and there are no penalty cancellation, uh, cancellation terms. The 2000 rooms are within two miles of the hotel. Uh, sorry, of the 2000, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my vice, vice chair for this. They're within two miles of the venue. And Glasgow is a sort of, it's a slightly weird shape. It's basically sort of on an angle. So you've got the River Clyde. I've mentioned the Clyde, right? The raft, you know, the, the business meeting. It, it heads up it, and it becomes quite steep, but in general, it has very good tra public transport throughout the entire city. Um, you can use Uber. Um, we have a different version of Lyft. Um, public transport itself is very good. There are buses. Uh, there is a train station that is directly outside of the of the convention center. It's imaginatively called convention center. So you know where you're going. Um, and so we've tried where possible to make these hotels within walking distance. The eight hotels that we've mentioned, they are all within 400 meters of the convention center itself. And as I mentioned before, uh, Glasgow has a has a policy where you have um, flat curbs so that, again, if you're in a mobility scooter or if you have slow movement needs, you shouldn't be having to deal with curbs very often. Um, that's something that is that is sort of factored in. So, whoops, that's my computer. That's your computer. Right. OK, lots of numbers uh, because she knows that I really struggle with these. So we have three, nine, six, six WISPAS members so far. We'd really like to make that. 4,000 as soon as possible. So again, if you if you were one of those people who went quiet, I, I did look carefully um, and I will be taking names and I will be coming after you. But please attend, it's gonna be great, right? Um, we have 3886 attending supplements and I'm not gonna go through all of these numbers, but 500 plus of these are first Worldcon. We've done a lot of outreach towards the local community. We're very, very keen in getting our Scottish residents to attend. And again, sort of people from around Europe to become part of it. So this is a bit weird because when I actually looked at the registration earlier, it said, and Steve, I've asked Steve to go away and have a look at this. It said 98 countries, but we reckon that that's also because it had states on it. Yeah. So we have 50 plus countries and a lot of different states, but no Arrakis. So again, we do have someone who's come from nowhere though. 
so good for them. Um, we've got the magic number of 42 people attending our committee meetings now. So our committee is rounded out. It's full. We don't have any obvious gaps that we need to fill, which is absolutely fantastic at this stage. And we have 13 divisions building our joint vision. And we've been working, a lot of those divisions have been working for a long time. We've had time to form our teams and work out how we're doing things. Um, some people have been working for sort of six or seven years now. Seven four Worldcon chairs, two, two special guests, but stay tuned because we have a bit of a theme and we will be announcing some special guests quite soon who will fit that theme. Our guests of honor have already been, been announced. Again, check the website for them. They're amazing. Um, and one tartan, which again, as you can see, is being modeled by my fantastic team over there. So, particularly Steve. It's absolutely beautiful. Just a reminder, you could be writing questions on cards right now. You could be writing questions on cards. So again, just to troll me, uh, Marguerite put in 250 days to go. So I, I'm not gonna go through all of the rates because there are five slides of rates. You can go and look them up. They are on the questionnaire. Um, the the kind of important ones at the moment is the Whispers membership is forty five pounds. Adult attending is currently two hundred and ten, and then we have various different discounts. We've just announced our online rates. It is only thirty five pounds if you want to attend without the Whispers attending without the Whispers rate, and it is seventy five pounds bundled, which gets you your gets you your voting, gets you your Hugo package. So that is ridiculously cheap. Um, and we will be selling day tickets, less relevant to this to, to this kind of crowd. But again, from the 1st of March, we'll be uh, selling day tickets for, for people who want to attend on the day. More rates, more rates, more rates. OK, put your hand up if you've volunteered already or if you've done something for my convention. Everybody else, give these people a round of applause. Great job. It's also kind of notable that it is about half the room. Like, be, feel proud, right? Feel proud of what you just did because that is so important. And I know I've kind of said this before, but I think it is actually a, a really important thing to say is that even if you only give any convention an hour, that's an hour that we need and that is valued. And again, like, it, it's really, really important to all of the conventions here. So, you know, I mean, we're convention runners. We know this, right? Okay, here are some things you can do. You can stand at the front of the business meeting. You can wear t-shirts. You can get fan art made of you. <laughs> Vincent behind us here is modeling one of the t-shirts. You can become a large stuffed armadillo that is in fact bigger than my good self. <laughs> you can become a panda. Um, this was a, an amazing piece of fan art that was gifted to us uh, from Chengdu. It weighed 35 kilograms. It was ridiculously heavy. Um, unfortunately, it did get damaged in transit, but we are reframing it and you'll be able to see it in the art show. It is absolutely incredible. Um, again, it is it is about the size of me or, or it was. And, you know, I'm quite short, but I'm not that short. Um, and you can also do things like become a piece of Lego or, again, get involved in our amazing, uh, we call our volunteers armadillos after the convention center auditorium um so you can become an armadillo so so do volunteer and then finally before you all start asking me difficult questions um here is where you can contact us again get in touch keep following our socials we have a community page on facebook as well as our sort of standard announcement page and that is ramping up at the moment so we are doing a lot of informational posts about what's going on things that you might need to know so right questions great i can't wait yes Okay, so we do have a few questions. Uh, let's start with one of them from online. Uh, will you be having special rates for Africa? So we do not have any current rates for individual places, but we are looking at our bursaries at the moment. And we are also going to be hosting the NOMO Awards, which are um, a specific African literature award. So we're talking to Jeff Ryman about that at the moment. It's also something that we're thinking about when we get our participants in. So not specific rates. However, we are thinking about that in, in different ways. So, so that's a yes, but no. Okay. And will dorm rooms be available again? Yes, we are trying to look at those at the moment. We haven't confirmed those in the 21 hotels, but we are trying to contract. There was a... Um, there was a sort of change of circumstances in Scotland last year where there was a, a massive crunch on 
getting rooms, which meant that they originally didn't want to talk to us about them. We are now in conversation with the university about dorms. So the answer to that is we hope so. Um, we are trying to confirm that. Thank you. A couple of very specific questions. Yes. Thank you. Uh, this will really test your knowledge. Uh, you've told them where the business meeting is. Now people want to know where other things are. Are you going to have a game room? Are you going to have a film room? Okay, so we're not going to have a film room. We will be having a games area. I kind of mentioned that we had a theme. Um, I teach games. I teach board games. I teach role-playing games. There's a real big anniversary coming up next year. It's the same, yeah. It's 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 a big one, and it's a good anniversary for myself as well, which is why I can always remember the date. Um. So yeah, so no film room. Uh, definitely games area. The games area will probably be in one of the main halls again, so that we've got space for it. And literally watch this space for that one. Um. Another specific question. If you can answer this, I'll be very impressed. Mm -hmm. Uh. Is there a site for dialysis person to do dialysis near the hotel locations? I do not know the answer to that question. But um, yeah. I'm sure that uh, with Google and maybe some help from yeah. your excellent team, we can yeah. find that answer out. Yeah. And I will I will pass that one on to member services because I know we've been asked that one before, so I should have known the answer I, to that. I, I so. suggest maybe they could contact the access team over there. Again, if you email accessibility at glasgow2024.org, they'll be able to start to help you with that. Uh, we had a big post about that recently. Well, good. Yeah. But yeah, good question. Uh, we have a couple of questions that we're going to ask of all world cons by request. You want to go? Sure. Uh, what is the human rights situation in your country or region? Okay, so we've addressed some of this in the questionnaire. Um, obviously, it's a difficult question for every, anyone to answer because when you live in a country, then you are, in some senses, a little bit uh, tone deaf to what is happening in your own country. One of the questions that we have been asked before is about uh, trans rights. We actually, on our committee, sorry, not on the committee, on our team, um, the first trans, the first trans counsellor in Glasgow is on our team. So is one of the people who's been speaking to us and advising us. So in that respect, we can actually say we're actually ahead of the curve for the rest of the UK. And it is something that we've made statements about. There is also a statement about Black Lives on our, um, on our website. So... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to cast aspersions at other places, but I'd say, okay, but everybody's got issues. So, yeah. Uh, what are your plans for a hybrid convention and will you need online volunteers? Okay, we definitely need volunteers and we definitely need on online volunteers. The We announced our hybrid, uh, our hybrid plan, plans recently. So we're going to be using Hopin, um, which will allow us to... Do a number of things. We will be we will be streaming a, a number of different things, um, and we will also be doing some pre-recorded stuff, and we will also be doing some virtual only panels. That's the current idea. We'll also have a social space online, and we'll also be doing party spaces. So yeah, yeah. Check check the announcement that we made about that. Is the answer to that one? Uh, here's one you'll like. Um, will you need online volunteers? Uh, I likely can't come in person, but may be able to help with Zoom slash Discord. Yes, we absolutely do. So email volunteers at glasgow2024.org. Yes, we, we really do. And we are looking to start training people uh, probably second or third month in the, in the new year. Okay. Steve uh -oh. has reminded me that you need to be a WUSFUS member to book a hotel room. So that was that was my reminder. Uh, will you be getting either getting off Twitter or getting on Blue Sky or Mastercard? So I believe we're on Blue Sky at the moment. Um, we are partly on Twitter, but again, we are ramping down our, our presence there. And finally, uh, yeah, will you be nodding. taking memberships here this weekend? Yes, you can sign up on the website. And also my, my delightful treasurer over here will be only too happy to help you buy a membership. Uh, unless there are further questions, we thank you for your uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.